Today has been a good day, and one that brought with it some welcome reminders. Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Welcome back to another video. This is day 39 of our Go Practice Daily series. I hope you're having a great day today. It's been another busy day for me today. I was out and about earlier on playing a concert and teaching a master class at a middle school here in New York City. And that's something I do from time to time and it's always enjoyable. But today it proved a particularly welcome reminder of something for me and something I wanted to share with all of you. And that reminder is this. Our posture when we play our instruments makes a huge difference on the outcome. Now this was something that was brought home to me as I was working with these uh, middle school age students. And there were some fairly good players there. That was really nice to hear. But the thing that was holding all of them up was their posture. And the big thing I noticed was really that their tendency was to not pick the horn up. And as a result, to really have their heads forward and their throats closed. They were playing like this. What was very telling was that I was able to have them demonstrate to themselves that if they made that simple change and just brought their head up straight so their throat wasn't closed, the sound opened up like crazy. And so it's something I wanted to remind all of you as well. This is an important thing, and it happens today that I'm playing flugelhorn rather than trumpet, but the principle is the same either way. Sitting up reasonably straight, if we're sitting in a chair having our feet flat on the floor, if we're standing up, having our feet, you know, a sensible, easy shoulder width apart and standing up reasonably straight and just kind of over our centre and fairly relaxed makes an enormous difference in our ability to breathe and our ability to let the air out in a nice free manner and not engage too much physical tension which can break down the resonance we get in our sound. So, yeah, there's that reminder. Make sure to sit up nice and straight when you're playing, okay? Get a nice, easy, deep breath and let the sound out a little bit. Okay? That's all I wanted to say. Anyway, with that, let's get into the exercises for today because it has been a busy day and has plenty of stuff to do. So here's exercise one. We're continuing with set six, exercise one, as we have been. We're continuing with the dynamics I added a couple of days ago. But what we're doing is that in each phrase, as we ascend up the whole steps, bridging the major third, is that we're going to decrescendo as we ascend. Seems counterintuitive, but it's very deliberate, okay? And then we can get a little louder as we come back down again, by all means. But in particular, as we ascend, we'll start at a comfortably medium to soft volume, and then try and get a little softer as the notes get higher. Other than that, everything we're dealing with is the same as it has been for weeks and weeks now. This is a long setting exercise, so I'm keeping my mouthpiece on my lips throughout the entire thing. We're going at 60 beats a minute. I'm focusing on playing in time, so I'm tapping my foot and subdividing the beat. I'm breath starting the first note of each phrase, and I'm attempting to breathe in time in the rest bar. Other than that, it's the same thing we've been doing. Just pay careful attention to your posture as you play it. Okay? I'll see you at the other side.
think exercise one went fairly smoothly on the whole. Today it was a little bit interesting playing it on flugelhorn. I haven't played anything from set six on flugel yet, so you know the balance is slightly different, but generally that went just fine. And the dynamics in particular were a little interesting in places, but this was my opportunity to play the flugelhorn again today, and I'm playing it for no other reason than that. And so it was good to do that because I will have to play it a fair amount tomorrow when I'm out and about working. So yeah, overall exercise one went pretty smoothly and it was certainly good to pay attention to not sit all the way back in my chair here, to sit a little bit forward with my back off the seat just to make sure I'm sitting up nice and straight as I played it. Okay, with that let's get into exercise two. Exercise two, we're sticking at the same tempo, I think it's good to be doing this through the end of the week now. So we're going to go at 80 beats a minute and other than that everything else we're dealing with is the same. There's three bars of 16th notes, so the first bar is slurred, second bar is tongued, and the third bar alternates two beats each between slurring and tonguing. This one is not a long setting exercise, so I am getting the mouthpiece off my lips on the two bars rest at the end of each phrase and resetting in time for that downbeat. And generally I'm playing this at a softish medium volume, but I'm not worrying too much about the dynamics in the same way as I was in exercise one. I'm just generally keeping it medium to soft. Okay, let's get into exercise two.
Exercise 2 seems to go fairly smoothly for me as well today. I'm quite pleased about that. I felt much more locked in having done Exercise 1 on the flugelhorn. Exercise 2 was a little easier. And as always, there's a couple of bits and pieces here and there. Um, I think it was the low G towards the end where I started to trip over my fingers a little bit. Um, but other than that, it went off fairly smoothly. I'm not too worried about that, particularly with those rotary valves. I'm just It's a different feel. Just trying to get those under my fingers. That's why I need to practice these things, as always. How are you finding these exercises? Now we're at day six of playing them, I think. I think that's right. And, you know, so they should be a little more familiar by now. I've been glad to see the reports that people are starting to get these things under their fingers a little bit, particularly the 16th notes at this tempo when that was, you know, somewhat challenging earlier on. So that's great to see. If you have any other questions or concerns about the exercises, of course, please leave me a comment as always, and I'll be delighted to hear from you. I've also been seeing some questions popping up, so I will be getting to answer those in an upcoming video in the next day or two. Okay? Other than that, I'm going to leave that one here for today so I can get this edited and make sure it's out in the morning because tomorrow is a busy day for me, as you will see. So we'll get into all the usual stuff. If you've enjoyed these exercises and enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. It makes an enormous difference to how YouTube deals with this. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And other than that, until I see you tomorrow, you know what to do. Go practice. <laughs>